I am in Düsseldorf, Germany, about to go on a river cruise with my mom through the Netherlands and Belgium. Here is our ship. Let's get on board. We just checked into our room. As you can see, it's pretty spacious for a ship. I'm gonna give you a little tour. Two beds, lots of closet space in here for our suitcases. And we even have a French balcony, which means we can open this door and see a view of the river. Here's the bathroom. We are on our way. We have arrived in our first port, which is Lelystad in the Netherlands. Lelystad is a small port town, and one of the main attractions here is this outlet mall. So we're gonna walk in there and maybe do some shopping. We just left Lelystad and we had some lunch. It's about 2 p.m. We're relaxing, reading some magazines in the room, enjoying the view before we get to Hahn, which is about a two hour ship ride across this beautiful lake, ocean thing. We're walking through the town and you can see the houses are a little bit crooked. We are back on board. It's 9.30 p.m. We had a really lovely day in this beautiful, beautiful town. And now we are going to start making our way to Amsterdam. We'll have a bright and early start there. We are in Amsterdam, and the first thing we're doing is a bus tour around the city, and then a boat tour through the canals.
in Amsterdam, which was coincidentally also Mother's Day, so that was really nice. We are leaving tonight to get to Rotterdam. Good morning from Rotterdam. We just arrived about to get off and do a little tour of the city. This other riverboat actually docked right next to us, which is interesting because they have to come onto our ship to get to land. So that's interesting. I wonder if people ever use that to stow away on a different boat or go on a little exploring tour of a ship that isn't theirs. We are currently touring the port of Rotterdam, which is actually Europe's largest port. And I believe until 2004, it was the largest port in the world. And it is still currently the largest port outside of East Asia, but has since been overtaken by many of the Asian ports. I think Shanghai is currently the number one largest in the world, as you can see. It's huge, very industrial, all kinds of different industries and shipping containers. It's a very, very interesting tour. We are inside the cube houses. Nice desk place. That's the nice kitchen. Okay. Small refrigerator. It's nice. Nice table. That's cool. Staircase. dangerous. We are walking through the Maktale, which is a very big food court. And there's a lot of things to try out, except we have lunch soon on the ship. So we're not gonna try anything. Now we are on the way back to the ship to have some lunch. And then the ship leaves for Willemstadt, where we will arrive, I think around four o'clock in the afternoon. So we can get off there again and do a little tour and walk off our lunch. We 
we've just made it in time. Going for lunch now, bye. So clearly, I should have done some reading about where we were going, but this seems like some kind of old military thing from the 1500s. I guess this is an old fort, which I'm going to do some research on <laughs> so I can say a little bit more about it without sounding stupid. where our ship just docked and we walked along here and I think right now we're right there which would make sense is right there so we're gonna keep walking along here and then maybe check out the city center still looking for mom I'm getting closer. I see her up there. <laughs> He's not interested. Maybe this one. Just had dinner and where's our ship? There's our ship. And I just decided to go for a post dinner walk. I wanted to maybe try to fly the drone, but it's a little bit windy. And oh, I think, oh, this is the last bastion. I gotta look that up in English, figure out how to say it in English. The last uh, little fort thing. Well, that didn't work. I feel like the wind got stronger after I left the ship. I'll show a little clip of the drone stopping due to high winds. <laughs> and I don't really want to lose my drone or have it crash into the water, so I think I'm probably gonna just head back to the ship after a little walk around the town and try to fly the drone on a day where it's not as windy. Which, unfortunately, I wanted to show you guys the city from above because it looks so cool, but sorry I failed. All right, back to the ship. It's cold, I'm gonna take a hot shower and probably go to bed soon so I can get up bright and early in Antwerp, Belgium. We're going to Belgium. going to the top of the mass. Six more floors.
little bit windy up here. had a lovely day in Belgium even though it was a little windy and cold but I warmed up with a nice hot chocolate and now we're about to leave to go to our last stop in the Netherlands
pretty soon they could be closing that gate. It's getting cold, so I put on my hoodie. I think we are waiting for some other ships to join us in the floodgate and take advantage of the opening and the closing because obviously it takes a lot of time and you might as well put in as many ships as you can. We've got two more that I see gunning it to make it in. So the back door has closed. As you can see, the water level is getting lower. And now we can see this door starting to open. We're about to go to sleep and apparently we're going through another floodgate, which I'm going to show you how close we are to the edge now. <laughs> Good morning! We are in Nijmegen, at least I hope that's how you pronounce it, about to do a guided tour of the city. to do some more shopping. We are boarding the ship for the last time. Our cruise is coming to an end soon. Tonight we have our fancy dinner on board that we're all getting dressed up for. But for now, we say bye to the Netherlands. All right, we got all glammed up for our fancy last dinner. I am here on 
on the bridge with our captain, Raul, who was very kind to give us a tour. Can you tell us a little bit about where we are, where we're going, yep. and your machines here? Yeah, no problem. We are now crossing the border from Holland to Germany. Um, this little town here is called Emmerich, and we are at Rhine, kilometer 853 and we need about 110 kilometers and then we are at our final destination Dusseldorf where we will be uh, tomorrow morning around 6 o'clock. This is our navigation bridge. For the daytime we can watch outside to navigate and in the nighttime we use our radar screen and then we can exactly see the ships that we want to pass, the ships that are coming towards us and also how the river is turning because it's not a straight line, it's always going from port side to starboard side, so from the left side to the right side. And we also need to have this equipment to know exactly where we are and how fast we are going, how much water we have underneath the ship. And this is my sailor, Adrian, and he is uh, Hi, he's willing to learn to sail the ship because he doesn't like to work outside and he likes to <laughs> sit in the, in the chair and that's why he needs to sit here and practice. This is a little bit uh, of good. the Lady Diletta. We have one last thing to show. Can you please tell us about your shoes? My shoes, my shoes. Because I'm Dutch and I love to go a little bit out of the box, I always try to find for each season a new pair of shoes. And this time I thought 23, year 23, it's beautiful for flamingos. So I put flamingo shoes and of course I have the matching belt. Ah. Otherwise it's not possible. Come to the Lady Diletta and I will show you where you can buy them. <laughs> it was my pleasure to have you on board. Thank you very much. And I will hope I will see you again yes. sometimes. Hopefully yes? soon. All right, have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Our bags are packed. We have made it back to Dusseldorf. Very sad that the cruise is ending, but we hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you've done any river cruises, what some of your favorite destinations have been because we definitely want to do some more. Bye! Bye.